All right, this is Dave at DDPR, DD Performance Research. Welcome to part two of uh, Tucker's going away video here. Uh, just gonna show off what's in the trunk real quick. Uh, so obviously you can see this thing has a huge tank up here. That's actually a reservoir for the dry sump system. That's from Peterson Fluid Systems. Uh, also using a Peterson Fluid Systems filter there on the inlet line to the tank and a uh, Moroso breather. Uh, this is all custom installed, uh, custom mounting brackets. We've done all that here, uh, the progress here. Obviously it's got an upgraded radiator. And uh, you can see it's got, you know, the front uh, splitter. We talked about that before. And you can see on the uh, dash here, it's got a little magnet mount GPS. That's for the Aimsport dash. It's actually got uh, GPS data logging, really, really cool stuff. It's an Aimsport MXG. So coming around to the back of the car, first thing you can see is the exhaust tip. Obviously I did say it is a blown diffuser. Uh, you know, we would prefer that it was blown out the bottom, but with the cross member couldn't do it. So this is the next best thing. It does still help kill that pressure pocket back there. And you can see it also has a muffler and a resonator tucked in under there. So it is a three inch custom exhaust. We did that here. It does have a uh, PP engineering header right there. Everything's black ceramic coated. And uh, uh, first thing that you can see here is the Peterson oil filter mount. Uh, obviously it takes much larger oil filter than uh, factory as you can see. Uh, another cool thing about it is it's got that uh, little pump drive on the front there so you can put an electric drill on that nub and you can actually uh, pressurize the engine with about 25 pounds of uh, oil pressure before starting really great way to prevent startup wear and if you uh, go ahead and, and couple that to a, uh, a tank heater for the dry sump tank you can actually use warm oil which is pretty cool also you notice it's got little fittings on the back there so easy place to put your uh, pressure sensor for your logging dash which this one does have it's got uh, pressure coolant temp fuel pressure all right and uh, Let's see, uh, other things, it does have a fuel rail injectors. It is tuned on a hydro engine management system. Uh, this is just a stock 2ZZ right now. It's not making a heck of a lot of power. It's uh, in the mid 170s, if I remember correctly. Uh, he's gonna run it like this for a season, and then we're gonna put in a built motor, and then uh, re slight retune. And then after a season of that, it'll be a turbo install. And then it's hard to see at the front, but that is the, uh, you can see down there, that secondary little belt. That's the drive for the dry sump. It's got a daily engineering uh, billet dry sump and I'll go uh, show you another one inside the shop here real quick on a different car. So cool thing about the uh, the daily engineering piece is it does have a, uh, all these scavenging stages are integrated into the pan. So it's one big billet CNC pan. That's the pump mount and it's also the scavenging stages. So there's no external hoses to leak on the bottom. So here's another one we're installing on a different car. This is Constantine's car. You can see here, that's your dry sump back there. It does have aerial separator on there, as well as an extra scavenging stage for a turbo. You see it's got a separate cog drive belt at the front, and really, really beautiful billet pan. The daily engineering dry sump is what we use for all of our uh, dry sump applications whenever possible. Really cool stuff. All right, that's about it. Thanks for joining us.